Um, Dr. Jada, I'm going to start with you. Um, you know, the the accolades, I got to say, uh, woman, you are impressive. She's wild, wildly and widely known as Dr. Jada, a nationally recognized weight loss specialist, wellness expert, and successful entrepreneur with award-winning weight loss center. Dr. Moore Ruffin received her undergraduate degree in biology from Memphis State University and her medical degree from Mahari Medical College and graduated with honors, my kind of girl. She she is certified as both an um, integrative nutrition coach and a professional abundant life coach and also board certified in family and obesity medicine. So she is helping a lot of people. She's very passionate for personal growth, total, total wellness and abundant living and inspires people to engineer that in their own lives, their own happiness, living full out. So I think we have a lot of like-minded ladies on the line here tonight. She also volunteers with her beloved sisterhood, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority um, in the education development youth initiatives for physical and mental health. Uh, as as well, of course, she, she resides in Atlanta with her forever husband and three amazing, wonderful children, affectionately known as Team Ruffin. Yeah. And so you can see that we, uh, we got a lot on your plate, Dr. Jada. So thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that warm introduction. Thank you to the esteemed panel and to everyone who took time out of their busy schedules to be here tonight. It has been a pleasure uh, just even thinking about tonight happening. So I'm so super excited to share with you about managing stress in life these days. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, many of you have come to know and love her so much since she started with us as director of training with TLS. This is Sozan Howe, and she has been a registered dietitian for 18 years, an entrepreneur with her own successful practice, also a certified diabetes educator for 15 years. Um, she is a weekly guest on a very popular health and wellness radio show. Um, she's been a very successful TLS certified coach and trainer with us for years as well. And she is a wife and a mother to two beautiful little girls who keep her on her toes. <laughs> um, so thank you for being with us here tonight, Suzanne. Thanks for sharing your expertise as usual. Thank you for having me. I love to be on the panel, especially with you, Melanie, and the rest of the beautiful ladies that we have on here. <laughs> No, so excited. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Tegender, and ma many of you know and love this woman as well. She is the Nutrimetrics Director of Sales. She has a background in pharmaceutical sales and sales management, um, avid social media marketer and enthusiast, built two Facebook communities to 15,000 plus. This woman knows how to bring people together. Uh, she is an entrepreneur, uh, certified Nutrimetrics consultant since 2006, and she's worked Working with health professionals, integrating, um, you know, that preventative care, those wellness solutions into practices. She's a certified weight management coach as well. And she's been married to Dan since 2011 um, and mother to Ella Brody and Duke. So full house over in the Tegender, uh, <laughs> over in, um, now what, where, I always forget where you Oh, live. Boston. I'm up here Boston. in the Northeast. Yeah. Yes. Um, we had a really fantastic 4th of July celebration. We went to New York city and does anyone else, is anyone else saying like, OMG, how is tonight, Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, like these four day work weeks talk about stress, but <laughs> I will wait to give you all my tips until my segment, but um, I think this is even timely for the day that it is right now. Oh my goodness. The most Monday, Wednesday ever, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, Sarah and I have also been working closely together, um, helping, you know, the, the community that we have um, integrate wellness solutions and really stress management. Um, everyone um, is going to benefit from this incredible panel because this is what they do. Um, and so it's really, really fun to have you here. So let's start with Dr. Jada. Uh, you know, I always find there's a benefit in understanding why and what's going on in the body, because I think we say, oh, do you feel stressed or I feel stressed, but what's really happening in the body when we're stressed out, Jada? Absolutely. Perfect question. And I think it's important to understand that when we take in stress of any sort, 
it actually translates, moves through our bodies physically, and it has, there is a cause and effect. How does that happen? So there are two places in the brain. I won't give you a, a, a whole anatomy session, but I want you to understand there are two places in the brain, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. They have important jobs for how you act, how you function, things that you do, your appetite, your sleep, those are important areas in the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland secretes hormones that communicate with other parts of the, gland, of the body. And then the third area is the adrenal gland. So we call that the HPA, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. And so with that communication to the adrenal glands that's in the belly, housed in the belly just above the kidneys, sends out a signal to produce hormones that are just specifically for stress, especially like quick stress. So that fight or flight thing that you may have heard back in fifth grade when we talked about the nervous system is really important for cortisol to be present to really give us action steps and the ability to handle that stress. There becomes a problem though, if we have too many signals for too long that says, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. And now the adrenals have to do this kind of work like all the time, even when we're not so stressed and therein lies the problem. That's a fantastic way of putting it. Um, stress that happens to us flows through us. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. I know yeah. that I, that cortisol hormone when it's just constantly dripping into the body um, on a consistent basis can really create um, quite a, a mess. And so Zan, you know, what are, what are some outward symptoms um, or signs that, you know, we're stressed and sometimes we don't even realize how stressed we are. Uh, but some of the outward signs might be things like what? Yeah. Well, I think, um, I think men and women both do this, but women are, are, are definitely prone to just kind of putting the blinders on and getting done what you need to get done that sometimes you don't realize you're stressed until you're maybe exploding um, at your kids or your husband, or, you know, you've got that kind of like shook the Coke can and opened it, you know, kind of scenario happening in your life somewhere. Um, and, and that can be a, a pretty good sign as well. And, and sometimes we just know we're, we're absolutely stressed, stressed out to the max. Um, and I, I can say that I, something I've noticed as well, and Sarah, you've probably um, seen this a lot as well in your work is, is the two different, I think, responses to stress where you're, you're either really anxious and you kind of, your energy gets really high or um, kind of the go underneath the rock, disappear, get indifferent, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that like paralysis. Where you're like, oh, you freeze like a statue. <laughs> I yeah. can almost think of my kids too, who sometimes do that when you catch them doing something, they're like, what? <laughs> me? <laughs> they have that look. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Maureen on the line here. She's chatting in saying, I'm, I'm that person. Right. And it's, it's so good to understand how you respond to stress because then you can you know, make some changes in your life quicker, right? When you're, when we're all aware of how we personally respond to stress, that's really where I think the power lies in us um, shifting things before they get out of hand, before they, you know, you shake the Coke can and, and open it, right, Dr. Jada? Um, <laughs> so have we all had that? I think so. <laughs> um, so let's talk about how we can manage stress so that it, it really doesn't get to that point. Um, and I think this, this is a group of women who are highly efficient and effective uh, because they have careers, they have businesses, they have kids, they have husbands, they, you know, these women are truly superheroes on the line. Um, and, and they're really, really incredible at what they do. And, and Sarah, one of the things that I just admire so much about you is what I call automated automation and delegation. And, and I know nobody who does that better than you. Oh, thank you. I, you know, ask my household. It's a little, um, you know, like military, like at times, right. In in the way that I like things. But when I talk to people, when I talk to clients, um, if I'm doing something like a health coaching or even working in one of my provider's offices and helping them. Um, and, and everyone says like eating healthy just takes up so much time. Right. And we're like, well, it doesn't have to, 
But it really got me starting to think about what takes me a lot of time. And a lot of people know about me that I live a predominantly plant-based lifestyle. And that is flipping hard. I'm not going to lie because it is so much easier just to like throw a piece of chicken on the grill than it is for me to take my, you know, lettuce and then wash it and chop it up and then wash the vegetables and do something with that and prepare them and whatever. And one of my tips about like delegating, people will think when it comes to delegating, like, well, Sarah, do you have an, an executive assistant in your house? Are you, you know, outsourcing everything? No, sometimes I'm just talking about Melanie, like buying the pre-cut up butternut squash, you know, it's going to cost me like 50 cents more a pound. Like if I'm looking at one squash is $2 and the pre-cut up butternut squash is $4, like, yes, it's double the price, but it's $2. And then when I sit there and think about, you know, it's not just for me about like the art of cutting up the butternut squash. Like I can, I can do that. I can chop up a butternut squash like the rest of them, but it's trying to do that with the 18 month old on my leg, with my phone buzzing, with my Apple watch telling me I have, you know, 18 text messages, knowing I need to get to my email. I'm hosting a summit online tomorrow. Like it, if it saves me the, that what could, should take me five minutes to cut up the squash really ends up taking me 45 minutes. I'm going to pay $2 to get my time back. And so, you know, that's what I think of when I think of delegation. I think of those little, um, those little shortcuts you can take to get some of your time back, which if you had a little bit more time, don't try to then just like fill it with more stuff, really try to stack some habits. So this is what the automation I want to talk about. Try to stack some habits that are going to, you know, pour into you as opposed to keep on pouring out of yourself. So little things like when I go to make my coffee is the same time I take my vitamins. When I'm on a really long conference call is when I'll jump on my Peloton at just like a low rate, or I have a walking treadmill, or I'll go outside and go for a walk and stick the earbuds on. Like, I don't have to show my face on every single Zoom. Trust me, everyone knows what my face looks like. You can find me very easily on the internet. I don't always have all this makeup on, so I don't even want you to see my face all the time. So it's okay for you to ask for help and say, I need to do something for me, which, you know, as a mom and a lady, and, uh, you know, that is so, so hard sometimes to do, you know, cause I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving of myself all the time. We have to remember. So stacking those little habits are where I find success to keep me less stressed. Yeah, definitely. Well, and, and one of the things I noticed is that you automate is your schedule. <laughs> so you have like a, an app that, or a, or a site that, you know, people can book the appointment with you and you're not, you know, doing the back and forth stuff. Yeah. Right. And, you know, little, little technology things that you find, um, you're always telling me about always amaze me of how you automate, um, a lot of the things in your life that do eat up a few minutes here and a few minutes there. I think we were on the phone once too, Sarah, when my groceries were delivered. <laughs> right. And so that was really hard for me. And I think this is really difficult for some women too, is that letting go of control. Yes right? Is, is just this yeah. like, oh, like, I'm like, nobody can pick out my groceries like I can, right? Like, no, nobody's going to pick the right romaine lettuce, you know? And just this idea that no, you know, somebody can't do that for me is really ridiculous. And it, it took about two or three grocery deliveries for me to be like, this is the best thing in the world. <laughs> right? Like it would be late at night, <clears throat> you know, and I would go on and I'd order my groceries for them to be delivered the next day. I'm like, this is brilliant, you know? And so it's little things like that, that you do a lot of Sarah, um, in your life that I've seen. And, um, and I, I've certainly, um, increased it since knowing you. Well, and then that means you have more time for you. I mean, I see you, Melanie, like hanging on the boat and hanging out with Doug and, uh, you know, taking your dogs for a walk and getting in your exercise. And we all know, right, it only takes like a couple minutes here and there to really like lower those cortisol levels. That's it. That's all it takes. <laughs> So breathe in, breathe out, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everybody take a deep breath in. That's all it takes. It's 
pretty awesome. Just a minute, just a breath. Um, so Dr. Jada, you have uh, something that you stay really strict with that helps you manage stress and, and just the, you know, the things around life. Uh, why don't you share with us what yours is? I will tell you, and thanks for sharing those tips, uh, Sarah. Thanks a lot. I will tell you what's super, super important and what I coach my clients and what I talk with my patients about and what I practice myself is what I call commanding the morning. And so it's really establishing a non-negotiable morning routine that starts with me in mind. So I like what you said about Sometimes we have trouble relinquishing control. So I say, let go of the little things. Let someone else pick your groceries for, you know, and, and, and take care of those little things so that you can actually take control of what's most important, which is you and your day. I believe the way you start your day is a premonition. It's like you can almost bet that's how your day is going to go. And so it's so important to be intentional. So I like to start my day with setting my intentions. What do I intend to get accomplished and the spirit with which I'm going to do it? And therein lies that whole thing about relinquishing control and being stress-free. So not only am I gonna go through my to-do list, but what's the spirit with which I'm going to get it done? Am I gonna be stressed all day? I'm going to be able to go with the flow. I'm going to set some boundaries. I'm going to let my yes be yes and my no be no. So setting intentions in the morning. Quiet time. Quiet time. One of the things I always coach on is do not pick up your phone, check your emails, check your texts, and your head is not even off the pillow. You can best believe you're going to start out scattered. You're going to start out thinking, oh my gosh, I got so much to do. And it's going to cause you to skip your morning routine because you believe those extra 15 minutes is going to be all the difference in you clearing all the, the tasks that you have to finish your emails. So don't do that. Start with some meditative music in the morning, even if it's just five minutes to get quiet, to kind of speak to yourself. If you, you know, have any spiritual practices to incorporate devotion or just any of those things that really ground you for the day. I think it sets your root. It sets your foundation for the day. And one of the other important things after you've taken your vitamins, of course, is to, is to get some movement in the morning. A lot of times, if you save it to the end of the day, unless you're just super, super, super disciplined and have nothing else to do, you'll end up finding 101 reasons why you just can't do it today. I'll start again tomorrow. Incorporate movement or physical activity as part of your morning routine. Let me tell you, there's nothing like knowing that that's your first biggest checkbox is I took care of my body. Now what's next? So I think those are a few things that are part of my morning routine. I coach my clients to do it is to really spend that early hour with you and doing what I call commanding the day. I love that. I love the terminology commanding the day. I think that is a really common theme and, and really a lot of successful people um, and thought leaders and, and, you know, trainers all around the world. I mean, I don't think, I think I've heard, you know, have your morning routine set if from, from, you know, just everyone who I know who is successful. Um, so I, I, I really do think that if you haven't, if you're on the line and you have not solidified your morning routine to be that, which, you know, Jada spoke about is starting with intention and even more importantly, the spirit, who you're going to be when you're doing those things. So it's not the doing, it's who you're going to be. And, and so that, you know, is so, so crucial. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so is Anne, uh, what? you know, tell us about one of the most important ways that you manage stress in your life. Well, there's so many ways you kind of learn the trial and error, but I definitely am. A, I have, I have never been a morning person until I had kids. And I realized what a big difference when I changed switch from morning routine. So totally agree with Dr. Jada. So for me, um, I have, I have always been a very busy person. I have never, when I graduated from university, I got five jobs. I didn't have one. I got five jobs. Why? Because I want to make my resume 
maximize my resume. So I do casual dietitian. I fill in every position possible where a dietitian and I teach at a community college. I maximize my day. So you can understand that time management is something that I need to learn in order to maximize that. So one of the things that I tend to do is kind of, um, for me, scheduling is so important. But before scheduling, I always ask myself, you know, we always say time management and energy management. And I become from time management, I actually switched to energy management. And what that means is you can have two hours to do something, but if you're feeling tired and you're exhausted, you cannot focus, that two hours, you might get nothing done, even though you have that two hours. But if you have a lot of good energy, you concentrate, you have mental focus, maybe in a half an hour, you get like for me, if I can very focus, I can in half an hour get my PowerPoint done. Or if I'm very tired, I might spend I don't know, three, four hours and nothing much gets done. So for me, now I switch from time management to really energy management. And what is the energy management? Food has to come back to it. Why? Because I know if I make poor food choices, I pay with my energy. You know, people think, okay, making poor food choices, you gain weight. Yes, that could be one of the consequences. But for me, before gaining the weight, I lose energy. And I, and I value energy because time is static, but energy is not static. And I value that so much. So how I do it is, I said before, schedule. Because my schedule allow me to maximize how much so I have three schedule I put every um every Sunday is my ritual so Sunday I do three schedule one is so sand schedule one is my kids schedule and one is a family meal planning schedule so my husband know exactly what is being fed to him on such a day and so <laughs> forth <laughs> I need to have that plan so I visually know what needs to be done so that's Sunday so Sunday night it's very like to me it's very important if I don't get that Sunday night planning done my rest of the day I know such a huge difference so second thing that I do on a Sunday is I do batch cooking I'm a big fan of batch cooking and food preparation because like Sarah that said right healthy cooking a lot of people think is long because part of the long time is the food preparation because vegetable takes time to wash, right? So I I do agree. I, in the past, I would say, oh, I totally can cut that one, uh, that butternut squash. When I realized how much time it took me, it's not worth it. I'm going to buy the the pre-cut butternut squash. But what I do is I maximize my space in my oven, and I would prepare like maybe two different chicken. I usually do an Asian and maybe a, a Mediterranean flavor. Then I do another two sheets of vegetable. So I do a combo because I don't like to eat the same food, but I can mix and match. So I always have my protein and chicken to me is it's a go-to, it's easy, the family likes it. I used to do a chicken wings, no, chicken thigh and a chicken breast because if it's all breast, it's not that great. So I do a combo. Then I do two different types of vegetable. I choose a heartier vegetable that lasts a little bit longer. So that got my vegetable and my protein done. Then I usually do two sauces. Everything comes in two because to me, that's enough of a mix and match of two sauces. One is because I have kids and kids love pasta, right? So I usually do a loaded sauce. I call it the loaded sauce because it's tomato sauce plus extra five hidden vegetable in there that my kids would never know. Okay, so they're eating a low glycemic impact, but they did not know they're eating low glycemic impact. So that, and I usually do a white sauce. And my white sauce is cauliflower with, um, with cashew and make it as a creamy. I put obviously nutritional yeast and everything. So that will be my two sauce. So I know at least for that, I got three to four meals done. I, I'm done with three to four meals. Make me feel so much more at ease because I think your stress level is when you feel overwhelmed, your food is not done. But if you know that you got your meals are done, at least your main meals are done, you feel much more at ease. Because breakfast, I can do a, it's a quick, easy breakfast. It could be a, it could be one of the tail shakes can, that can be done. But I know, you know, we always say TLS, right? Low glycemic impact eating. That means adequate protein. We need to make sure tons of vegetable. But tons of vegetable, I can buy a lot of pre-washed leafy vegetable. You know, that can be that's done. I don't need to worry about that. But what makes that salad tasty is that roasted vegetable that I can add to it. I can chop my my chicken. That's my done. Next day I can do a zucchini, uh, the, the zucchini noodle. That's another dish. But guess what? I can use one of those sauces. That becomes another dish. So it's my mix and match, right? So so I often say if you can actually think about that 
then you start to see a routine and you built a routine from that. So my protein, some healthy fat in there, lots of lots of vegetables because I want that fiber, but I want to instill that healthy eating for my kids because I want my kids to learn that despite my busy schedule, we still eat home cooked meal. Because I think this is something like we cannot say it, we have to do it because if we can't keep on buying takeout dishes, you know, and go out to restaurant, obviously nowadays it's hard to go out to restaurant, but if every time it's Uber Eats that kind of deliver the meal, what kind of message am I sending to my kids? That food, that preparing food at home is not that important. And that's exactly the opposite. So I really value that. And one more thing I add on a Sunday to spend time with my kids is that I actually do baking with them because baking allowed me to do a healthy muffin, maybe some healthy pancake that I can, for them to have for breakfast. So Tia's, we have amazing shaking and baking recipe that I would use and my kids would have them, but they would bake with me, which I get to spend time with them. And the baking as mom, you, we all know, they can learn math, they can learn addition because, you know, I would ask them, is that quarter cup? Do you know what's quarter cup? I would give let her and say, which one's quarter cup? And eventually she figure, oh, this is a quarter cup. This is one whole cup. So it's part of teaching, bonding. At the same time, it's for my mind, it's food preparation, but sending the message to my kids that healthy eating can still be fitting on a very, very busy schedule. So that's how I, I do it. So my Sunday is my precious day because it really sets the pace and the tone and my energy level for the rest of the week. Yeah, I think that everybody feels like you've been holding out with those two sauce recipes. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> you definitely need to share the cauliflower uh, cashew cream sauce and your um, your tomato and um, with five hidden veggies. I think you talked to me about that once where you just throw it all in a blender. Um, so I don't even know that there's like zucchini and, and stuff oh, like that. Definitely yeah. everybody wants to, sh wants to know, uh, we're getting like all kinds of chats, like share, okay. share, share, the rest. share that. That was inspired by my kids who, because my older, my older, my daughter. So I have a six and a half and a five-year-old. My six and a half is a very picky eater. So every mm -hmm. time when she's very picky, I look at her and say, I'm thanking you for making me creative. Because if she's not picky, I probably would not have been creative, right? So I was like, how can I get her to eat vegetable without even know there's vegetable? There so that's how I start to play around with the sauce. And I call it the loaded sauce. It's loaded with vegetable sauce. I love it. All right. So last but not least, as far as um, stress life hacks, and then we're going to switch gears here, you guys, uh, is, or ladies, I should say, <laughs> um, one of the things that you know, how many of you have ever heard of eat the frog, right? Or, you know, do the hard thing first. Mm -hmm. When I'm stressed and overwhelmed, I can't eat the frog. Like I just, I can't do it. So what I do is I make the list and I find the easiest because I love to-do lists. Anybody else love to-do lists? I love to do like this was today's to-do list, right? Like, I mean, you know, it's got, I'm, I'm like, it's got to be paper and pen. I got to be able to cross it off and, you know, feel the, like the, the, the little dopamine like hit of, I did some, you know, I accomplished something. So I cross it off. Um, I even go as far as if I did something that wasn't on a list, I'll write it on the list just so I can cross it off. Um, and so, because there's a feel good, right, Sarah? There's a feel good to that, that moment of like, I accomplished something. So whether you do that in the evening or before, I always have a daily to-do list. And, but the thing is, is when I'm really stressed out and overwhelmed, I pick the absolute easiest thing I can do because I don't want to do anything. I'm stressed and overwhelmed. Like I just want, I, you know, I'm, if I'm really let myself go get too far in that direction, I don't want to do anything. So the best thing that I can do is do the easiest thing. And then I feel a little better and then I'll do, and, oh my gosh, then I'll do the next easiest thing. And I, oh, I feel a little better. Like I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. Okay. You've got this melody. <laughs> you know, like it's sort of this pump myself up type activity that works for me. And when those days where you just wake up and you, you know, you did your morning routine and you did your workout and I feel like a million bucks and I'm like, dah, 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 dah. yeah, I'm going to eat the frog, you know? I'm going to get that hard thing done. So that's just my personal um, little tip so that I, you know, I don't slip into stewing or, and that's like I said, if I let it get that far. So um, we have some incredible, incredible ways to support the body because, 
you know, the truth is, is that we're never truly going to be able to get rid of all the stressors in our lives. There are way too many things that are out of our control that we cannot, you know, get rid of, you know, whether, uh, and, and everybody stresses about different things. So we need to be able to support the, ba- the body in managing our stress response and supporting it to stay healthy and strong because cortisol dampens the immune system. It can cause us to gain weight or just the inability to lose weight. So we have this thing that happens that we need to address. Um, And so Sarah, why don't you start off with um, one of the ones that's your personal go-to right now? Yeah. um, For me, Melanie, it's got to be my activated B vitamins. And um, it's just, it's where I'm at. Um, And it's something that I don't care about what time of day I even take it. Um, What I really love about my B vitamins too is with the isotonics, which has such a great delivery system in the isotonic solution, meaning your body is just so much easier for maximum absorption. Um, It has to do with that isotonic state. And so it rapidly gets into the bloodstream. But did you know that it's one of those isotonics that you can take with or without food, without it really um, affecting the bioavailability? How many of you guys knew that? If you've been to Nutrimetrics trainings with us, I think you have, because we typically will go, um, we will tell you about those, um, those that you can take with food. So I like that I can take it at any time. That's something I learned from my dad, Dr. Dan Witkowski, who lectures for Nutrimetrics and has been on some of our Market America stages. Um, he really taught me that B vitamins in the afternoon is a really great pick me up. And I am that type of person that sometimes will get that like caffeine jitters or too much will sometimes upset my stomach. So um, I really find that this is great. Um, also I am still nursing my 18 month old. So talk about stress and like stressors on my body. Like I still don't feel like my body is my own body as I'm still sharing it with my little guy, Duke. And so this is something that I, I I can, you know, comfortably be able to use within my diet and my supplement routine. And I shared to you, I'm not plant perfect. I don't like being labeled as like vegan or anything because I started with TLC. TLS. Um, TLS for me started actually when I was just right out of school, a friend of mine had a local dentist office that I ran my first TLS class out of. He didn't even aver- advertise it to one single one of his patients. It was all my family and friends. We were just using the space, the um, waiting room of this dentist office. And um, we were running this TLS class, a friend of mine. And I've always been, if, if you meet me in person, um, I'm a lot shorter and smaller than I look on Zoom, I promise you. And I said, this is amazing. I'm sticking with this. And no matter what, I mean, any any you know time that I look at my lifestyle, I always start back and say, what are those principles that I learned from TLS? Because you know, did you guys know that Oreos are vegan? And I I do have a freezer full of really great dairy free ice cream at the moment. And of course, when we get stressed, like we just go towards you know these foods that then I understand put me on a roller coaster and don't keep me very even keeled. So. Going back to the basics of, you know, looking at what I'm doing, making sure that I am staying even keeled, making sure I am snacking enough during the day um, and especially running around with the kids and especially needing extra calories because I'm still nursing. um, That's really important to me. And I learned those success principles. Luckily, like, you know, this was now, I, I think I just celebrated 15 years with the company um, just this May. And so I'm 15 years now of living this lifestyle. Um, and so I, I think by now it's, it's sort of become a habit, a habit that we sometimes get out of routines though, when we travel or when life gets busy, or even sometimes just a change of seasons, because our schedule has changed here in our household. And now instead of going to school, we're going to camp and things are at different times and the weather is different and kids are staying up a little later because it's, you know, sunnier out. And, you know, we're more inclined to say, well, let's just go do s'mores outside with the neighbors. And of course, yeah, let's, you know, the ice cream trucks coming by and, and that can easily slip into 
my diet and then I don't feel so good. And when I don't feel so good, I start getting snappy and I, you know, start just, it it affects every part of my life, my relationships and my kids and my work and then my own mental health. So Dr. Jada, I, uh, I need to get back into my mornings of starting off with like meditation and music. And I thank you so much for that reminder. But, you know, I hope to remind everyone just again with like that activated B complex that I really love in the afternoon. It seems like it's a little mommy shot for me that, uh, you know, it's just that thing that's going to help me um, with, you know, my everything, my mood, my healthy levels of serotonin, that it helps me maintain my normal, normal cognitive performance. I just feel so great with that. So, um, if everyone doesn't have a bottle in every little room in your house, like, please (laughs) go do that. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. And we know that, um, cortisol and stress actually, uh, you know, and I'm sure this is, um, something that, that Jada and Suzanne can, can also collaborate or corroborate is, uh, that stress actually eats up bees in our system. So we become, we become, you know, easily more, uh, you know, deficient when we're stressed out, if we're not, you know, supplementing those bees. Um, what's really cool about our activated bee complex is it's ready for the body to use. Uh, and so, and it's not just one bee, it's, you know, <laughs> so it's, it's all the bees you need, um, in an isotonic format and activated meaning that my husband is one of the, uh, individuals on this planet that don't methylate their bees. Mm. So he can't process his B vitamins, um, and ours being activated are already ready to go. So, um, really crucial but not, not like I use the iodine salt, but one of the things with iodine salt is they fortify with iodine. So when you switch to sea salt, unless you eat food that contains iodine, it's hard to get iodine. And if you're Asian and you eat your seaweed and your nori seed, great, you get your iodine. But if you are not into that on a daily basis, it's very hard to get your iodine. So getting an extra dose of iodine in this formula are so great for supporting from a healthy thyroid function. Um, obviously, it helped with the happy neurotransmitter, or happy hormone, like the the uh, neurotran- uh, the uh, serotonin as well as dopamine. We call it the reward system, make you feel well balanced and happy. But I I feel that with this particular Forma, it's a really uniqueness is yes they have l-theanine which is uh, a green tea i'm a big fan of green tea but the dosage is slightly higher so uh if you find bliss works for you it's great but there are times when you feel like i need a little bit more uh support maybe one you want to consider a tls acts um some people find very beneficial taking daytime some people find much more beneficial taking evening really depends on how you respond to stress and last but not least with the tls lifestyle I always believe in, I said before, energy is everything. And I really believe the blood sugar, the even keel, I always call it the even Steven, because when I blood sugar fluctuate, my energy level also fluctuate. So I know that I'm like you, if you want to win the race, like the day your race, you want to start off in kind of start off right. And I think starting off right means that you start off with a low glycemic impact eating from breakfast continue on and we have TLS nutrition shakes for those people who are so busy you can certainly hide your vegetable inside without even compromising on taste so that gives you that and continuation with the different combination of food but I want to add one more thing is where people say if I'm stressed and I cheat what do I happen so this is my philosophy you can take care or leave it really depends my philosophy is there are days where we want to enjoy ourselves Life is not about deprivation. And this is what TLS is all about. That's why we have different menu plan. You can actually, um, I would say, uh, rotate on your menu plan. Maybe when you are having those good times where things are not too stressful, you might want to do a rapid result. And when things are very stressful, you might want to maybe rotate to a sure and steady. And when things are kind of, kind of, you know, like more in control again, go back to your rapid result. No one say that you have to stick with the same menu plan forever. You can actually go or what Melly like to do, she does, she's a rapid result weekdays and a sure and steady weekend. You can certainly do that. And if you really do go off, I always say no more off than two days because usually 
habit or ingrained. So once you go off two days, it becomes three days, four days, five days. The next thing you know, you completely forgot about it. So I said two days is your maximum if you were to go off. But my suggestion was really give yourself a break and maybe go to a more flexible or give you a little bit more leeway or lenient uh, meal plan. And when things are better, go back to your original meal plan so that you can continue to hit your goal. That's my tips for everyone. Awesome. Thank you. I love Ax. So um, bliss didn't really touch my stress level. <laughs> so, so I needed the Mac Daddy, um, which is, a, you know, just a, a more potent in some of those ingredients. Um, and so I absolutely uh, absolutely adore, um, acts. And so it, you know, I think no matter which one works for you, it, it's the bliss or the axes is, is going to be fantastic. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about cannabiquin and, uh, now cannabiquin is one of our newer, uh, into our product line and it contains, uh, thymoquin, which is a trademarked black cumin seed. Now this is a, uh, this has been used for centuries, you know, due to its, its health benefits. Um, and it's ours is standardized in it's extracting, um, in the, in the way that it's extracted. So it has, we know what we're getting. This is really important, right? Is like, we know what's in the bottle and it's, and it's the best. So, um, what's really cool about thymoquin is it's evidence to boost the benefits, um, of whatever it's paired with. So it actually amplifies the benefits of, of, the, the, the other ingredient. And in this case, the other ingredient is full spectrum hemp oil. Uh, and one of the things that's really important, there's a lot of hemp oil out there, right? We know it's very saturated market. Um, one of the most important things is when you're looking at supplementation and, and looking at buying something, you want to make sure that you're getting that full spectrum. And that's what we have. We don't, you know, if it just says hemp oil, you, you know, you don't know what you're getting really. So, so our full spectrum hemp oil is a, uh, what I love about this is it's clean and sustainable and it is actually grown and processed right here in North, or right in North Carolina. So it's really awesome that it is a locally sourced uh, hemp oil. Um, and, and so really the benefits of these ingredients combined in our cannabiquin um, are helping to balance emotional and stressful situations, like helping the body uh, uh, stabilize that and feel, promoting that feeling of physical and mental comfort um, and calmness. It also, because of that, supports memory, cognition, and attention. Who doesn't need a little more of that, right? Um, and it supports... Be, uh, healthy weight. And we all know that when we're stressed, our cognition functions go down, right? You walk into a room, you forgot why you went there. The phone is ringing and you forgot who you called, you know, like our, our cognition just really takes a downturn. So it's really important to be, to be, um, you know, supporting those levels also happens to have some benefits for our digestion, for our heart health, like healthy levels, uh, uh, maintaining healthy levels of triglycerides, cholesterol, LDLs, HDLs, all that fun stuff. Um, healthy blood glucose levels, which, you know, is that even Steven we want to uh, maintain. And so it's really quite a powerful combination of, of two antioxidants that uh, help in this area of, you know, stress and the body's response to that. So for me personally, cannabiquin gives me the best night's sleep ever, <laughs> like, like ever. <laughs> so I can honestly say that I, it's like the dead. It's amazing. Um, and so what's really cool, Stephanie P says that it's above and beyond what was expected when she tried it. Uh, so it's, you know, again, finding your own fit in supporting your body's health and wellness in regards to um, your lifestyle and your stress management. Um, you guys, this has been so fun. Uh, everybody on the line has been very interactive. And so I want to thank all of our participants um, for, for, for joining us. But I got to say, you know, number one here is really, truly that lifestyle. 
right? All of us have really embraced um, the healthy lifestyle. And, and that I truly believe that is why, you know, Sarah, after 15 years, it doesn't look like you've aged a day. Um, and so, you know, I've no, known you for a long time and I just don't think that you've aged. I have friends who say the same thing. How do you keep, you know, some high school friends, how do you keep looking better? How's that even possible? You know? And so <laughs> exactly. Jada's going, heck yeah. Right. Um, and so I feel like lifestyle is that foundation. Uh, and, and then supplementation, you know, you're adding those bricks to build that really strong house that can really, you know, get through anything, handle anything, still be productive, still be living on pa uh, point, on purpose, on passion, um, you know, and it was funny because Jada, I think you were saying something like, you know, at night when you're calculating your bills and you're, you know, you're doing this and I'm thinking to myself, Sarah and I are thinking about world domination and <laughs> we, we got a different brain that way. <laughs> We're like, how are we, you know, just conquer the world. You know? oh, so, <laughs> so, you know, whatever is keeping you up at night. Um, I just really feel like lifestyle is the foundation. Supplementation is the bricks and we're, um, I just, I, I'm so grateful that all of you are living examples of, of the TLS lifestyle, uh, incorporating the supplementation and everything that we do. And, uh, and I want to thank each and every one of you for being on tonight, um, contributing your expertise in, in both life and product and, and lifestyle. Uh, I think everybody got a lot out of it. So um, Dr. Jada, Sozan, Sarah, thank you so much for being on with me tonight. Thank you, everyone. You Thank you. Awesome. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again. We're always first Wednesday of every month. See you later. Bye-bye.